Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And tonight we are taking you off strip to what has been called the best restaurant here in Las Vegas. That's right, we're in Chinatown at Raku. Let's, Let's go. go. Welcome to your table. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to your own little special private dining room. <laughs> All right, so we just got seated, oh and God, we are in, in like our, our our own <laughs> booth room. It's this. so cool. Very excited about it. Um, there were people trying to do walk-ups, and they were told you can't you can't get seated until 10:30 tonight. So make a reservation, guys. Come on. All right, so homemade. Housemade, homemade, whatever, tofu, every day. Uh, she said, suggested the first half you cut in half and then serve with this Raku's green tea salt. We have not really had homemade tofu. Oh, or not never much. Ever tasted anything so creamy in my like tofu career? <laughs> <laughs> and that green tea salt is nice and light. It is very refreshing. In there, usually tofu, as we've talked about in some things, takes on the taste of other flavors, and I can see why you separate them out. But that is so creamy and so smooth. All right, so she said for the second half, take the garnishments, add a little bit of soy sauce. You got some scallions, some ginger, and I don't remember what this other piece was. So leave a comment down below. Let us know what it is. But I am ready to eat some tofu. I have not tried the green salt one yet. And I might be taking too much of this stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, super creamy. Mm -hmm. Strong, strong soy flavor. Um, so if you think about like miso soup, it's got like just intensified version of that is what I think of with it. Um, I think it's really good. And I, I do like the ginger and the Scallions? I don't know this paper stuff. <laughs> I kind of ate a little dry to me. It's just the creamiest thing, right? The mm -hmm. tofu? Super delicious. Mm -hmm. I think that, and, and this is definitely, it's supposed to be one of the must items to get here yeah. because they do make it here. And I have no problem with it. I would eat some more if they gave it to me. In addition, I believe they had do their own soy sauce as yeah. well. Yeah, and look, they actually tell you what these things are. Yeah. So they'll let cool. us know what we need to put on items. All right, so the appetizer course is here. There are four dishes. Um, they did recommend that we eat from the left to the right. On the left, you are gonna see, this is asparagus with rice crackers, or cooked, fried in rice crackers. This is an abalone. I don't remember how it's prepared, but there is um, gold fleck on top of it. This is a burrata. And then this is duck breast. All right, so I'm gonna take first two that Rachel's going after me. All right, I might as well check out this asparagus, right? The, um, takes a little time. So I feel like the rice cracker actually is the star of it. It is fried, and so it's got a good crunch on it. The asparagus, I mean, it's asparagus. I mean, it's not gonna transform, but I feel like the fry is very good on it. It's got a nice, light, salty flavor. I like it. What is abalone? It's a great question. <laughs> I may have to run a Google after this. It does have um, gold flakes on it. I know it's like a, it's a seafood and it's expensive. Um, yeah, it is I have so had pretty. Some abalone before in a Chinese restaurant, but so many gold flakes. I'm trying to show you this. All right, so you can see there's some green vegetables underneath there. And. Let's go ahead and try this sucker. It's got a slight texture. 
like a burn mushroom. Oh no. <laughs> okay. But I'm definitely gonna eat it. Um, Does it taste is good. okay? Okay. Yeah. And yeah, remember mushrooms I'm not I don't like the texture, so it's much lighter in flavor than I expected it to be. A little bit of salt, a little bit of acid. I like it. All right, so I do want to say we did end up getting a bottle of Riesling. Uh, the bottle itself was $55, which honestly doesn't seem too crazy for Las Vegas prices. And Rachel's over here eating away. All right, I get to go for the burrata. Um, yeah, with Ra soy sauce, Rachel I gets the cheese. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take that big old bite of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Here's what mine looks like. Man, burrata cheese is so tasty and creamy. Yeah. You can't. Is there a little salt on that? <laughs> um, possibly a little bit of soy, but the star of the dish is the burrata. Okay. For sure. And now I get to try the duck. I'm so excited for this piece as well. That duck looks. Perfect. Is, again, is it cold? This is like, or is most that, of them have been cold. Yeah, they're cold appetizers for sure. I was gonna say not like ice cold, but room temperature. But it doesn't need to be. It's very tender. It's very rich. I would say, mm, I don't know which is the best bite, but. That asparagus was really good, but this duck and the burrata are really good too. <laughs> All right. Hey everyone, you may have noticed a new collection to my handbags. I am lucky enough to have been asked to try out a handbag from the Teddy Blake collection. The fun part about choosing the perfect Teddy Blake bag was the multitude of options and designs. They're luxury quality and made with fine Italian leathers at not a luxury cost. There was even a fun little quiz to help me determine which bag was right for me. When I received my bag, it comes beautifully packaged and honestly felt like I was unwrapping a Christmas present. This bag is a work of art. The experienced craftsmanship is obvious from the time you first lay eyes on your bag. My Teddy Blake bag, along with all the bags in their collection, are made of premium Italian leather. I love the look, feel, and smell of leather as in the past they've always held up so well and maintain a great look. My Teddy Blake bag is the Ava Croco Gold 11 inch that worked perfectly for our needs. As we headed out to dinner in Las Vegas, we needed to carry all of our equipment, camera, microphones, my wallet, and of course my phone, and the bag was the perfect companion to my outfit. Not only that, but it was also very versatile and useful in what we needed it for. I was able to utilize the shoulder strap that came with it or hold it by the handle. If you're in the market for a new luxury handbag, I'd encourage you to visit teddyblake.com. We'll leave the link below to find your perfect fit. All right, so Shimi course is here, and I'm gonna go with the scallop and the marinated mackerel, or just mackerel? Mackerel. I know it's mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a list here with all these uh -uh. things. We're trying to do our best. Yeah. I don't admit we are not the biggest uh, Japanese food connoisseurs. We do like it. All right, it's a very subtle, savory bite um, that it just fit really nicely. The thing I really like about tasting menus, especially in places you're not sure what to eat, is that it's prepared in a way that the chef knows what they're doing. And I think that's, it's just progressing nicely. I'm gonna go into the mackerel. Um, it's got me a little nervous to that say the least. silver skin? Yeah. A bit fishier taste? Scallop that has is very bland, not bland, but very subtle flavors to a mackerel that is very strong flavor. Again, you can tell it's fresh, it's tasty. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> All right, so I am doing the uh, yellowtail first, and then bluefin are the two that I get to try. Um, I'm gonna actually dunk it in just a little bit of soy sauce. And I will say, I thought the mackerel was a much stronger flavor, so going from the scallop to the mackerel was kind of a shock to the system a little bit. Yes, the palate <laughs> was not expecting that. <laughs> I did not catch that. <laughs> So sushi 
a lot of times is really tough to describe on camera because it is just a it's a very fresh flavor I think that it's very good I struggle to say much more than it is a very good sushi um, I'm glad I have it <laughs> yeah now this next one all right so this one has an egg yolk and caviar and this one is bluefin <laughs> Um, and a raw egg yolk. So this is going to be an interesting thing. This is not, not something that I've ever done before. There's a whole lot of first tonight, it seems like. Like I feel like I want to throw it in an egg pan and have an omelet. <laughs> be a baby omelet. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Alright, talk about progression of flavors. That is very strong. Um, in a good way, actually. Sometimes very strong is bad, but I like it. Um, again, it's a struggle to be able to say like what exactly it is that makes it best, and that's we we've, we've not done a ton of sushi videos because it, it's hard to s differentiate between the two or between twelve different sushi. But I think it's really good, and. I mean, we were kind of going for a, a shocking, shock to the system kind of meal, and I think we got it. What would you say, after eating all four of those, would be your favorite bite? This one. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah I think the, um, I think it was bluefin is this mm -hmm. last one, right? Yep. I think you'll like it the most. You ready? Um. <laughs> glad we're in this room privately because if you know me I am not a mushroom fan and that's a lot of mushrooms oh my god let's do this oh god <laughs> How's the bacon? <laughs> I'm working. I'm glad it was wrapped in bacon. I did power through it. I'm excited that our next course is king crab. Let's eat. All right, I like mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms are out of bacon. Does Good. Not hurt my feelings. You might get another one. Yeah. So the funny part is, is it, the presentation is pretty cool. The presentation is cool, and I do believe that's from their. I think they have like a robotic grill, is what it's called. You should have probably had that one and not this one. I was going for like fanfare and mm -hmm. excitement. Because that one does not have any texture of mushrooms. It tastes like mushroom flavored grass wrapped in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Should we eat some crab? And I don't eat a whole lot of grass, but it is what it tastes like. <laughs> All right, so the next up is king crab. It looks great. Yeah, so it is pre-cut for you. It does come with a, a lemon, um, and it's just a big old hunk of Alaskan king crab. I can get behind this. Yeah, and it's warm. That's good crab. That's tasty. <laughs> You're gonna like that. <laughs> yeah, hard to go wrong. So we each do get that. You can see it looks very beautiful. I'm ready to not eat a mushroom. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure I can get behind this one. Um, I believe she says Iberico pork cheek, and <laughs> there is some truffle on top of that. All right, I'm gonna go for two of them. So what I like about it is you can really smell the charcoal grill mm. on it. It's some good moist pork. Um, I feel like everything is less flavored or less aggressively flavored than I was kind of almost ready for because that's what we usually do and 
you know, we are, we are not Japanese food experts. If you came to us thinking that this is the most critical review, I'm sorry. We can't give you We're that. <laughs> no, but I like this one a lot better than um, the mushrooms for sure. <laughs> All right, so fish course, fried, lightly battered and fried black cod. Also served with a bell pepper and a lemon in case you needed to. In the uh, batter is already the green tea salt. Yeah, green tea salt. So, but if you need more, you can add it, she said. That's delicious, and I want five more bites. Yes! It's a very nicely, lightly battered fish. It is. It's just enough, it's a little bit of salt that adds to it, but otherwise you have a very hearty fish in there and that crisp, and here's what I even like the best about it. It's hot, like cooked hot. I'm hurrying up because Josh needs to eat this before it cools down at all. All right, let me go. All right, I do want to share. I actually like it even with the lemon better, but I really, really enjoyed it without. Um, yeah, I think that's the best dish of the night by far right now. Agreed. It is lightly battered. It has got a nice little bit of salt to it. It's very, very good. Yes. Oh my gosh. What is that you're pouring on? It's a Hennessy. Hennessy, oh, okay. alright. Please enjoy. On top of the crispy garlic shrimp as well. Ooh, if thank you like medium you. rare, you can go ahead and take it off. <laughs> okay, thank right, you. Thank you. Is this me or you? It's you. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for you. Eight pound wagyu. On a hot stone. Hot stone. We've actually never done on a hot stone. We have not. Um, she said if you like medium rare, go ahead and eat right now. And I do. <laughs> I hope it's not too hot. That's a weird thing coming from you. You love your food super hot. I don't want to burn my mouth. <laughs> That's delicious. It's still cooking. And there's a little bit of sliced potato on there and some garlic. I'm assuming I think. the potato is so it doesn't end up like overcooking. Oh, that's probably a good thought, actually. Yeah. What do you think of 8 5 Wagyu? I think it tastes like awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you know, if you've been watching us, we we have been really big into um, steak houses, and you can look at look at how fatty this is. There you go. Look at how much fat is into that. Oh. So. Uh -huh. Our camera just steamed up from the smoke from the <laughs> hot stone. That's freaking awesome. There we go. I'm. We were saying we need a couple like. Out of this world bites. I think the fish and the steak are gonna be our. <laughs> yeah, that fish was delicious, so I'm excited to try the steak too. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> All right, so pickle is your palate cleanser, and then this is the final before the dessert. Uh, it is tuna, uh, rice. What else is in there? Fresh wasabi. Oh gosh, I'm, a, I'm not sure about the wasabi. I'm gonna go with the pickle, because I could use a palate cleanser. Oh. Yeah, and we actually ate the potato that the steak was on. <laughs> it was actually tasty. All right, I've actually never had um, just rice with some tuna on top. Let's go ahead and try some of the toppings. It looks very fresh. Very good. Mm. Yeah. I actually do like that. And to be fair, we typically, if when we're getting sushi, we get rolls. Yeah, we do. Um, so texture like this, we're fully on board with. Is it? it um, now that you say that, it kind of looks like a deconstructed sushi roll. I know. I think I'm gonna get rid of this here. The extra lettuce thing, yeah. or whatever. And I'm just gonna go ahead and eat some rice with it. Yeah, it does eat. It looks kind of like a deconstructed. Okay. All right. That's my jam right there. <laughs> that is more what we're used to. Good. Like I said, we're not the, the fanciest Japanese eaters around here, but I can get behind this. 
Okay, dessert courses here. First, they bring you out some very hot tea. In this little cup. Yeah, we have not been able to drink it yet because I can barely even hold the hold it. cup. <laughs> I was just thinking this and then you get a brown sugar pudding. Brown sugar pudding, thank you. And a homemade sorbet. It looks look like there's some green tea sprinkled in between. That's called decoration, Rachel. <laughs> It has a pudding-like texture. Well, it is pudding. Oh. <laughs> oh sugar pudding. Brown sugar pudding. <laughs> yes. It's not very strongly flavored, and it's not overly sweet. Which oh. does make me think of like most Asian desserts. They're oh. typically, um, I, I, I don't want to say bland, but they're not overly sweet. Okay. Um, this sorbet, the, it looks very icy. Like, almost shaved ice. Like Italian ice. Mm -hmm. Japanese ice. Now, wow. <clears throat> That's the winner. That's delicious. I think you ate it all in one bite. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an idea what flavor it is? Um, you're going to taste it and be able to tell me, and I'm going to be very upset with myself that I can't think of it right off the top of my head. All right. But it's really good. And it looks icy, but it's actually very smooth, which is a shocker. When you're so maybe like a shaved ice, you know? Mm -hmm. It's very good. I think you're gonna like it. All right. The verdict is in. I believe it is strawberry, and I feel like I can see a little seeds in there. Uh, but yeah, these desserts are very good. A great palate cleanser. Great way to finish off the meal. All right, we just wrapped up. Um, so we ended up sneaking over to Sweets Raku, which is in the same parking lot where they specialize in more extravagant kind of desserts. Yes. Um, and we did the Luna, which is a mascarpone mousse. <laughs> I uh, called it, uh, like strawberry, uh... It's like a parfait. Yeah. Strawberry shortcake meets creme brulee, and yes. they get married, and it's a happy marriage. And then there's a very strong, beautiful, <laughs> I said beautiful, um, <laughs> strawberry sorbet on top of it. Yeah. Great way to end the night, and it also had a cappuccino. Yeah. Um, all right, all in all, you're talking about just under $500 for that dinner and dessert. Yes. We have both talked <laughs> at length about this, and I think that we've come to the realization that we don't eat enough fine dining Japanese food yes. um, and so I think unless you're uh, very very good at that that type of food I would struggle to do this again mm -hmm. um, if we, we we said if we would come back we would probably have just order a crap load of skewers yeah um, I think that's the safer way to do it some of the some of the stuff it's just like so slight the flavoring and stuff yeah we're we're bold flavor profile people and a lot of that just wasn't and so it, it didn't hit right um i don't i'm not disappointed in it no it's just it's not i don't think it's something that we would head back to i agree and there were some really good bites that right. fish dish i i was i'm still like blown away by yeah. that crispiness with the salt on that that was so good that was the best bite I mm -hmm. think as well um, the steak was very good the burrata was very good the tofu was very good um, there Even definitely the asparagus were asparagus was tasty. yeah yeah um, and then I'm trying to remember if it's I want to say it's a bluefin that had the egg yolk yes. and the caviar on it that was very good as well there were some very very good bites yes. um, it's an expensive meal though mm -hmm. and and it's hard when sometimes you just don't get the food. <laughs> Maybe we're not as sophisticated into the Japanese culture of food right. that we were hoping would yeah. be hit with. We, we might be headed back to some French and Italian here shortly. <laughs> Maybe a steakhouse or two. That's true. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You definitely got to see a lot of food that we don't show you very often. Yes. Um, let us know down below. Are, are you interested or willing to try out a menu like this? If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you. Thank you.